We will now look at the book structure of the student's book. The books in each level of the English experience are divided into units. Every unit provides enough material for up to two months of classes. Each unit contains 15 lessons, which are divided into groups of three. Every group of three lessons relates to situations or themes which are interesting and motivating for teenage learners. The activities in every lesson have been designed to take approximately 45 minutes of class time. Books 2 and 3 contain 5 units. However, Book 1 contains 6 units instead of 5. This is because the English Experience 1 has an extra unit with only six lessons, in which students are introduced to basic classroom language. Unit 1 in the English Experience 1 is then divided into nine lessons so that the 15 units of Unit 0 and 1 are taught in the first two months of the school year. Every unit of the English Experience includes a section called Game, which is found halfway through the unit. These sections offer fun board games designed to practice and integrate the language learned up to that point in the unit. At the end of each unit, there is a roundup section called Review. Review pages contain consolidation activities that recycle the main language aspects covered in the unit. These exercises focus on vocabulary and grammar within the context of the unit and also integrate the revision of functional language. The last page of every unit has step-by-step -step instructions for the unit's project. Projects are intended as longer pieces of group work to be developed over a number of classes. Projects focus on students' interests and provide students with an opportunity to use language for true communicative purposes. The outcome of the project is usually a presentation or some other kind of final product, which always has a social purpose. After the project, there is a portfolio box, which contains ideas to help students select, organize, and store their work. This enables students to evaluate their own progress and keep a record of their development. To sum up, the English experience is divided into five units. Every unit is divided into 15 lessons. Each unit also contains the following sections. Game, Review, Project and Portfolio. In addition, the English Experience has four sections of additional material at the back of the book. Pair work, word bank, grammar, and audio script. Icons within lessons indicate the place where these sections might be most useful. The pair work section is divided into two parts, one for student A and another for student B. Pair work contains information gap activities for students to conduct with a partner. All of these activities are referenced in the lessons. The word bank is reference material for students to look up unfamiliar words. It includes a selection of illustrated vocabulary items per unit organized by semantic domains. The grammar section is a useful reference guide for students. It includes examples, explanations, and a summary of the language structures covered in every unit. The audio script contains the transcripts for the tracks on the CD. These can help students check their answers to listening activities, observe language patterns, and improve their pronunciation. So far, we have focused on the structure of the English experience.